Hey world, sitting here at work, got here a bit early, so I, did, I decided I'm going to record a little video. Now, I've been looking at a lot of videos where a lot of you guys are ranting and raving about how women bring you down, women no good, and how marriage is just a terrible thing. Cut it. Seriously. Now, I get it. If you ran and raving about your relationship, your marriage, okay. But to put out here to the world that marriage is a terrible thing, that's not cool. It's not. Because every relationship, every marriage is different. So, a lot of people do it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people get married for the wrong reasons. It could be for convenience or this person take care of one another, you know, the one of one or the other. So, come on now. If two people truly love each other and they really ready to be with just one another, do it. I'm I would never go off of what I went through and tell people, "Oh, marriage is just this horrible thing. Don't you ever do it." That's bullshit. It really is. And it's not cool. All I tell you is take your time. Really get to know that person. Because none of us are perfect. Nobody in this world is perfect. And everyone have problems. It's just don't do it unless you're ready. And if you dating a person and you see red flags, duh. The red flags is, is like sometimes warnings. So take your time. That's all I can tell you. And don't listen to all that. Oh, hell no. Don't do it. I want me to bring you down. And race have nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Because I am a very strong black woman. And a lot of guys is, are intimidated by me. But the guys that I have been in relationships with and the guy that I have married, I was submissive to them. And that's all that matters long as I'm submissive to the person that I'm with, I don't have to be submissive to no one else. So, you know, I don't know. Just, I just can't stand when people take their relationship or their situation and make it to where, oh, it's going to be a problem with the world. No. Fuck that. Marriage is a wonderful thing, and especially when two people are on the same page. But you got to be on the same page. If it's insecurities there, if it's trust issues there, don't do it. Because it's not going to change anything. You just, what, paid all this money to make sure people that's coming to your wedding good. That's pretty much what it is. If you don't trust the person before you marry him, it's still going to be there. You're still not going to trust them. If you had insecurity problems before you got married, you think they're going to leave because you said because you said I do? No. And that that was my problem. I'm thinking, okay. Me and this man having problems before we got married. Oh, it's going to change after we get married cuz now I'm his wife. Bullshit. Straight bullshit. It actually got worse. So, just take your time. I tell that to any and everybody. But don't knock it until you actually try it. And actually, I tried it. And a lot of people was like, well, would you do it again? Of course. But I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to let God put that individual in my life instead of me going off of what I feel is best for me. And that's basically what I did. I went off of what I felt was good for me. And I was wrong. It's not cool to give people the benefit of the doubt or to think that, I don't know, it was so many red flags there and I just was like crazy in love and wasn't paying attention. So I lost a lot behind it, but I learned a lot too. Material things I can get back. My trust issues for a man, I can get that back. I know I can get all that back. It's just, I'm going to just take my time this time. This time when it go around, I'm going to take my time and 
let God put that man in my life. Okay? So, don't listen to everything you hear on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. They're not God. They don't know what God's plan is for your life. I'm just saying.